Hello, my name is Mustafa Mikatria from Smart RTOS, stands for Smart Real Time Betting System. And today's tutorial is about Agile. We're going to see together the sprint concept, the scrum concept, and other characteristics of Agile. But before we do that, let's ask ourselves this question Why do we have to use Agile? To answer that question, let's make an example. Let's say we're working on a product. And to make this product, our client gave us this kind of requirements. And to make this product, let's say that uh, we make a plan. This is time in terms of hours or days, or maybe weeks or how years is dependent on, on your product. And let's say that to develop this, this product, we have to take this time and to test it. Let's say we need this time, let's say also we take some buffer line here and we are going to deliver this product somewhere here. We are happy, the client is happy, we start to work. But as you know, everybody knows that we are never going to deliver at this time. So usually we deliver here. Why? Because if we have a bug, somewhere here, let's say, after the test or during the test process, we discovered that something else wrong here because we didn't make it right during the requirements. Maybe the problem is the client's problem or our problem. So we have to go back to, make, to develop it again and test it. And this is going to take some time to make it. And we're going to deliver it here. And because we took all this requirement at once and we start to develop it and test it, the chances that we are going to make something wrong are very high. To make it easy for us, instead of taking all these requirements, we can, what we can do, we can break it down, like, say, three kind of requirements. This is the most important requirements, let's say requirement number one. This is also very important requirements, but it's not that important compared to this one, and these requirements are nice to have. What we are going to do, instead of taking all these requirements, as I said, we bring it down to many kind of requirements, prioritize them, and we take requirement number one, we develop that product, like say let's here, we test it, and we deliver it here. It's not the requirement that clients want, but at least it is stable here, and it will not take that much time to make it we can still deliver that product to our client. This client can make money because he has something that is it's okay. We have experience, we can manage it because if something else wrong here during the test, it is easy for us to go back to fix it and test it again because we have less requirements than this one, you see? And also the client is happy, as I said, because he has something Instead of waiting all this time, he has something quickly that he can make money. Now we take the same requirements, or the second kind of requirements, we can develop the product, test it, and deliver it again. We take the last requirements here, we add all these requirements, we develop, this is the development part process, and this is the test process, and we deliver to our clients. It's much important than this process that you can see. Why? Because it's not that big the requirements. We can manage it. If something goes wrong, we can go back and fix it. And even better, imagine that if we take the first process, this is the first way and this is the second way. If you take the first one and imagine that we have some technology that's just shows up here, how are we going to manage it? Because we don't. We, we already started the requirements, or we, or we already started our development process. But if this technology just sh shows up here, we can still catch up because we have some stable product. We can take this new technology and embed it here. Of course, if the client is okay with that. As you can see, this way, it's more easy. We can adapt faster if we have a new technology. For example, we can manage what we are doing because the requirements are not that big in terms of numbers and everybody is happy.
the client has kind of his product more faster than here, he can make money. Still, it's not what he wants at the end, but still it's okay because he has many delivery, many releases, and he can still make money and live with that. And if we have any kind of technology or something just show up here, we can still manage it. We are flexible and we can adapt. As you can see, this way is more, let's say it's more important or it's more relevant than this one because we can still adapt to any kind of change and we can still manage what we are going to do and what we are doing. By the way, this process here, it's Agile. That is Agile. What that means, we break down all these big requirements to small requirements depending on the priority. We start to make it this plan, the big plan here, we do shorter plan. This is what we call them sprint, but we are going to talk that in the next videos. It's easy to we can it's easy to do, easy to adapt if something is wrong and everybody is happy because the client has his product sooner than this way. I hope you get the idea or at least the concept of Agile. If you still have any question, you can send me an email on smartrtos at gmail.com. I will be happy to answer that. I hope you enjoyed it. See you for the next tutorial. Bye.